Now, much of Russia's immigration comes from the so-called stands. Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and you're famous or infamous for uh, referring to London as Londonistan, which you have to agree carries some pejorative connotation. Oh, it is pejorative, absolutely. Well, what's That's why wrong I use with stands? Um, the reason I call London Londonistan is because to me it's completely fallen to the control of the Muslim mayor there, Sadiq Khan. Uh, he is spectacularly useless at his job. Under Sadiq Khan, there are some statistics that I'm sure neither you nor I could argue about in the sense that our murder rate is now higher than New York, in the sense that our stab rate has just gone up by 25% in the number of acid attacks that are happening, 60 moped attacks a day with hammers and machetes. That's life in Londonistan under the Muslim mayor. And what I see from that is a lack of control, a lack of law and order, and a, a political Islam that where religion and politics are integrated and people vote according to their faith. And that is not democracy. But, uh, from what you describe, uh, you seem to have the beef with the Stance. uncontrolled immigration yes, and yes, integration policies. And yet the way you express it is pejorative in a much broader sense because stance uh, stands mean countries, not cities. Why? Because would London you... is a country of its own. And that's but precisely do, do you why I use that the word. Uh, it is pejorative. By, yes. By making that statement, you are mocking other countries rather than the UK authorities who, who are are not mocking responsible the UK for... authorities. I'm mocking the Muslim mayor of London and the country that he's built there, where 89, 95% of some areas, so if I think about Tower Hamlets, Newham, 80, 90% Muslim population, that does not reflect multiculturalism. That is not a multicultural country or a city. And when he speaks, he speaks only for London, and yet he appears to speak for the UK and for someone like myself, who comes from a place called the rest of the UK. It's intensely frustrating. But, Katie, I think you do understand that when you refer to Londonistan, mm. people may draw conclusions about yourself without hearing your argument first. Because I think that the, this point that you've been making about imported monocultures yeah. that exist in isolation, this is a very valued and uh, valid and mm. under-discussed point in my view. Agreed. It's a, it's a real sociological issue that has to be studied. And mm. yet uh, that, seem, that issue seems to be brushed under the table because people take offense at you. Don't you think that the style of your presentation undermines the very valid argument that you're making? Um, not for my money, because, you know, there is a, a, apart from the kind of social study of monocultures that I think is so imperative, and that's why I've done the work I've done in Sweden, in Sicily, in all of the no-go zones that I visit, I do actually want Sadiq Khan to be out. I want him out of office. I want to champion getting and that man out of office. will you achieve that by referring to London as Londonistan? I think we spend far too much time tiptoeing around issues these days. I think it's one of the reasons I think your line of questioning is good, because you come straight to the point. And it's very much the style that I use with my commentary, especially if you use the format like Twitter. You haven't got... 45 minutes to chat chat around the subject. But, You've got a few words to make your Katie, point. With all due respect, I would never compare anyone to cockroaches. I think you, you, you can find a more um, expressive metaphor. I mean, I, I know this, this whole uh, controversy about your I column. think it was very fair. I think, I think you're undermining the column, which still stands today. So 2014, no, if you bring it up, I'm going to talk about it. 2014, I wrote a column that compared migrants across the Med to cro We need to give it reference. Cockroaches. I said they're like cockroaches because they have an enduring nature. They seem to be able to survive no matter what. And we were taught in schools the only creature that can survive a nuclear holocaust is cockroaches. I, I, that still applies today. That still applies today, Both but everybody is arguing about right the now. choice of words rather than the issue you were trying to raise. Have we stopped the boats? No. Did 932 because migrants just arrive on a boat? Because everybody is arguing whether yes. using cockroach was a nice way tell of... Me. Tell me, while you're arguing well, about may, cockroaches, well, tell there, me... There are many the... resilient species. Tell me. Well, you could have compared them to whales That's or not my question. seagulls. And so, so whales? That would be a bizarre way of writing copy and very poor English. But let me ask you a question. The Aquarius, with, I think it's 632, it could be 932, I apologise for not knowing. Let's say 632 migrants on board. It has nowhere to dock. Italy just said, no, we won't have you. Tell me, what would you do about that? If you broke it, you own it. It, it was in part Western and uh, primarily UK policy that 
created the mess in Libya. And if you created that mess in those neighborhoods, you should expect certain repercussions for yourself. So what, you so, contribute... so what port should take them? Which port? Well, Italy won't. Well, it, Malta said no. You guys have to chip in as well. That, that's... Uh, but that's no solution. But so my well, solution, why is it not solution to send your troops to a foreign country or to send your special forces there to unravel the life there and then refuse to accept them? We shouldn't be running ferry boats across the Med. That's but, no way. You're, you're reasonable. a common sense lady, and what you're trying to tell me is that uh, causes don't have consequences. You are simply trying to wish them away, and I don't think that's a common sense solution. Seriously, I, I think you're overlooking this idea that people say they're running from something, they're fleeing something. In my opinion, and it seems surprising to me, I would think. I think as a mum it seems surprising to you. Why is it these young men of fighting age are running away? But if it's that terrifying there, why do they have leave their been, women have you been and children? Libya? I've been on the coast of southern Italy trying to get those I've NGO I've been to boats. Libya and I can tell you that they're... Why do they leave their women and children behind? If it's so terrifying, I'm tell not, me that. Look, no, I, answer my question. Well, because, first of all, many of them are not married. Most of the people who migrate into Europe are... So just the young men come? Yes. Because it's so mean, scary in Libya, they leave the women behind. Really? Yes. With, all yeah. they manage to bring is their mobile phone. Really? Yes. Oh, oh really? Yes, because... Uh, we completely disagree. Well, uh, we certainly disagree on that, but I, do. don't you think that... Uh, I mean, I understand no. your point of, uh, on immigration, but don't you think that by arguing this line of argument, you're also absolving your own government of uh, its responsibilities because it did contribute to the mess, and you recognize that uh, in and that, and the solution, your argument on, on Syria, for example. You do not the support solution, the UK government uh, policies on Syria. The solution is not to bring people on ferry boats run by, run by charities what, what, so over the Mediterranean. The, the solution, solution? is an in country solution, just as in Syria and other migrant camps, we've suggested facilitating in-country solutions because of course you don't the want to that send the money for that the, the UK the is very stingy be... about uh, allocating money for we did actually rebuilding. give additional monies uh, after the incident. well it's not enough to rebuild the, the country the answer is certainly not to bring those people to our countries and I think uh, the boat like the Aquarius and NGOs that are running the ferry service I think it's utterly irresponsible and all that it does is encourages more people to come and potentially lose their lives on the med. And that seems to me the opposite of what you would want to happen. Well, Katie, let's take a very short break now, but we will be back in just a few seconds. Stay tuned. <laughs>